I believe you can be inspired by yourself. Our intuition speaks to us individually, not as a society. Listen to this conversation with an ordinary person who is following their heart. These conversations will unlock ways for you to hear your own intuition. Welcome to Inspired by Jimmy L, the talk show. Oh my gosh, it's Friday! <laughs> oh my gosh. Welcome to another um, Friday. This is freaking awesome. So welcome to this new segment of the show, of a new segment of Inspired by Jimmy L, where I come to you every single Friday with a pre-motivation just to kind of help get you get your your weekend started before you go off and have the first glass of wine i personally believe that motivation can come from anywhere inspiration can come from anywhere and when we have these big huge goals it is so important that we consistently are reminded a of our why and b when we're having our troubles and our issues we have to stay consistently consistently um, with that why. We have to stay in, in I want to say, we have to stay in flow with our why so that we can eventually get our goal. I truthfully do believe that. And um, so, without further ado, you guys know I only have five minutes, so I gotta make this quick, very quick. So, I was actually listening to a podcast, Dr. Coit Cooper, C-O-Y-T-E, Cooper, um, actually by the time this airs, actually no, it won't. So, but I did a, a positivity chat with him. So you'll be able to actually catch that within a couple of weeks. So please do so by all means. But I was listening to a podcast with him this week and he had a guest on that said something that was so profound to me. He made a statement that um, someone that he knows is going into the, the jail system and, and into the, the prisons to speak with different inmates. And um, he didn't want to call them criminals. And he didn't want to call them criminals because he does not like the fact of holding someone accountable for one bad mistake, one bad error. And when he said that, I was like, like, dang, oh my gosh. Like, that really resonated with me because how often do we experience certain things with certain individuals, um, boyfriends, husbands, wives, or even our children, and they think one bad decision and we hold that over them for the rest of their lives. We make sure that they never ever forget that moment that pissed us off that we felt was a bad decision. So now, okay, I'm all on this positivity journey and I'm all for empowering others. But I want you to think about this. How often do we apply that same philosophy and that same logic to ourselves? When we go off and we make that one bad decision, we make that drastic change in our lives that was, let's face it, it was a failure. So it flopped. How often do we hold ourselves in our next decisions based off of what has already happened? How often do we do that? I want to remind you this week, let's give yourself a break. Give yourself a break. That's it. I dare you. Do it now. <laughs> Something to think about this weekend while you're out there partying. Give yourself a break. No matter what decision you have made in the past, today is a new day. I'll see you guys next week with another, another pre-weekend motivation. <laughs> See ya. Oh my gosh, I always forget this. What is going on with me? In the words of Norman Lear, <laughs> to be continued. See you later.